This is Salamancer, and you are watching Dragon Ball Z. Previously on Dragon Ball Z, the medic turned into a Super Saiyan, and actually it's just a shoutcast. But anyway, uh, he had some pretty wacky hair going on there with KBK. So we are going to see these two teams, of Pinball Wizards versus Mayhem, go at each other on Badlands here in the very first, I think the first of their games of the season. Let's go find, uh, there we go, get a sweater cam. I've played with a lot of these guys, and I've seen a lot of them as well. Uh, played with Valen a bit on TF2 Pug NA and a couple of the others, so I do know that some of these guys are really skilled. I mean, they just make me look like a chump. Um, here in ESCA Intermediate, we are watching Badlands, of course, and uh, already a lot of damage going down. Mayhem, uh, I'm sorry, Cade, the first man to die on Mayhem. Uh, a lot of damage coming into our blue team, though, and Tang, one of our scouts, is taken down. Oh, there goes Valen as well, actually, but uh, Abramelon and Defiance both taken out in exchange there, so what we're really seeing now is Grimo jumping into the... Uh, spamming and even into the um, house and we you know I, it's at this point it's going to be a miracle if kbk survives uh you know what maybe you are just going to have a miracle because oh no. <laughs> yeah green mode here he had a golden opportunity to get that medic kill but now kbk is right back up to like 150 health so did manage to preserve the uber and actually scouting on top of the blue oh yeah i'm sorry the red medic here from mayhem they managed to get their 100% up as well. Um, Zephyr even calling that out. Nice shots, managing to uh, bring I Am Root down to quite a low amount of health. I think that's what he's talking about anyway. Uh, good rocket there on our soldier, causing Valen to end up crashing to his death. The Uber is forced, though, for Mayhem, and they are now trying to desperately get as many kills off this as possible. I think they should be able to push in on this because they did kill KBK, and yeah, here they go. May uh, Zephyr, I'm sorry, already getting the kill on the demo, man. That is huge. Yeah, here goes the Mayhem team. They're going to get this capture for sure. Uh, squid, Squitter, uh, Squid and Sweater, I'm sorry. Squid and Sweater all taken out. Cannon, yeah, everybody got wiped out there after uh, the Medic was down, the demo was down. There's just nothing they could do. And look at that. May uh, I'm sorry, I am Root. Oh, he's got the same setup, but he's actually got, looks like the entire thing, even the, uh, uh, wow, so Halloween-y right now. But, um, but no, the it was just too late. Once you lose your demo man like that, once you lose your medic, you just have no hope of holding on to that last point when there's like five or six enemies pushing in. So we'll see if uh, if Pinball Wizards can't be TF2 Wizards as well and win this mid-fight, maybe turn it around and win the game. Uh, right now, it looks like Zephyr for Mayhem did go down. Here comes a big jump in by a soldier. Very, very aggressive play here. Now we're going to watch our blue team um, trying to get as much damage as possible. Yeah. Mayhem dropping back into the choke point, taking way too much damage and having to fall back. Uh, <laughs> that one little rocket there, probably dealing 40 or 50 damage to that soldier who took it. But that's going to get healed up right away. There's really not a lot that uh, Defiance... I'm sorry, that Mayhem... Oh, these guys, their tags are so confusing. That Mayhem can really do at this point. Uh, they do have their Uber, so they'll probably be able to hold in the Spire. Valen, oh, Valen with your white tyrant's helm trying to be TLR. Looks like he did get away, so kind of a TLR-esque move there. Both of our scouts tr attempting to capture the Spire, but a very good defense there by Defiance. Defiantly defending the Spire there with about 70 health left after that Uber. And there is a back cap attempt, forcing uh, the Pinball Wizards back onto the middle point. But they do have the Uber. They've not, they got a, a really big advantage. Tang already jumping in on top of the demo. I'm not sure if he really even needed to do that. What they really just need from the Pinball Wizards right now is to jump on top of, uh, well, to jump in altogether. You know, instead of sending one Sky in at a time where, I mean, already the Uber, of course, was forced for our red team. What, what's going on here? Like, are they, I guess they're waiting for the Scouts to get back up, but at this point, they're giving way, way too much Uber to Mayhem. I Am Root's already at, like, 65%, and they are backing up mostly under the battlements. So they're going to be very safe from this. Um, I honestly, all the damage classes were still up. You know, they were missing their scouts. Yeah, so maybe maybe not as good cleanup. But pinball wizards really could have pushed on with that uber advantage. They could have gone way out there and dealt a lot of damage. But it's too late now. Uh, I am Roots got his 100% uber up. So a little bit of indecision there by the pinball wizards has caused uh, caused the game to reset around the second point. Now KBK finally pushing his team forward. Looks like they are feeling confident, but there goes Tang, and now, of course, KBK having to back out with the rest of his team. He doesn't want to go in there in a 5-on-6 situation, really, and now, actually, uh, <laughs> that's exactly what Mayhem do want to do, take that 5-on-6 advantage, and they do manage to take out Sweater, so no Demo Man means a lot less damage out there on the field. Squid from the Pinball Wizards is going to come right back around and try to catch somebody on the flanks, but, oh, he goes straight down. So our pinball wizards here are uh, are not showing their wizardry just yet. They're going to have to back off to their second point where, I mean, really, with the uber advantage they had, they should have capped the enemy's spire. And instead, now they're back on their own. That's no fun. Uh, well, let's see what happens here, though. Mayhem, I mean, they've got a bit of an uber advantage. They've got a bit of a player advantage. They're going to cap the spire themselves. Uh, pinball wizards, well, they're going to peek out to choke here, but, I mean, they're already spotted doing it. Some good damage going down on top, and uh, Grimode actually got taken down there, but Valen did as well. 
And let's just see if I can't get a good camera angle, because right now there's a lot of action. Most of the blue team backing up into the base, though. And there's a little bit of a scout battle going on here where... Who is that scout? That was Tang, I think. No, it was not Tang. That was Squid getting away from that with uh, most of his health left. And, of course, he did, I think, respawn. Tang here looks like he may, may have wanted to start building the Uber. No, actually, he was just messing around with uh, Boston Basher. He knew he could get away with it. Uh, so, Mayhem now. It's it's The ball's in their court once again. It's already 1-0, to zero, and they are not really feeling the pressure at the moment. They're probably going to end up pushing soon. Um, and Mayhem just... Uh, I'm sorry, Grimode, trying to jump up there, ends up having to take two sticky jumps instead of one because he kind of missed the first one. Flubbed it a little bit, but it does not matter at this point. Uh, the Pinball Wizards are backed up into their last... They've got their medic sitting there with 100% uber and just ready to go with it, but he can't push out. Squid actually gets a good pick there on um, Defiance. Where is Squid right now? Yeah, he's still... Yeah, he's... Okay, so where he's standing is inside spawn, using that little trick. Now he's swapped back over to Scout, realizing that nobody's going to fall for that same trick again. And Valen actually got taken out there, but not before Grimode goes down again to a scout. Really good work here, I think, by Tang to take out Grimode. And now, actually, he's still hanging out in here. He's going to let the enemy walk away and think that he's just switched back to resupply or something. Um, Got to be careful. But yeah, there goes a the soldier inside the main base now. Is Tang still in here? Yes, he is. So he may be looking for a back cap. Um, oh, that was, that was kind of cute. You can actually go through the wall here, and uh, you can see that Defiance is still there. Defiance actually looking at that. I think he may realize the scout is in there. Um, I mean, they're they're really paying attention to this because I think they've gotten burned by it once, so they do not want that resupply to uh, to really burn them. But Tang, I mean, he he could go for it, and it looks like he's going to do just that. While the action starts happening up here, um, Tang is he's behind right now. Where what is what's he what's he doing? He's going for the back cap at the same time as there's already capture attempts down here. Uh, Zephyr is taken down. There is an Uber on the point, and yes, the back cap is going on here. This Uber is going to save the point temporarily for our blue team. The question is, can Blue get away with? Oh, it's going to be close. No, okay, so uh, they actually do manage to wipe out the red team entirely while they had their, their scout capping. That's a crazy good defense by the pinball wizard. That's really, really good. Uh, to be a man down, basically, so so what happened was uh, Mayhem pushed in 6 on 5 and still got wiped out while Tang was off there just like back capping like a boss. So, yeah, the pinball wizard's making a good comeback here on the middle point. And I think, even though they don't have much of an uber advantage, right now, just because of the positioning and the forward spawns, some of them may have gotten um, the the lack of forward spawns. Well, I was going to say that I thought the Pinball Wizards could push forward and capture Spire relatively easily, but it's not looking like the case now. Uh, they are going to set up here on this second point and have, you know, second point fun times until one team decides to push into the other or makes a mistake or whatever the case is. Uh, it can get a little bit stalematey sometimes around here, but we will see. Uh, I don't know. Our um, our, our good old risk-taking friends here at the Pinball Wizards, I, I do want to see them do something crazy here. Uh, Valen especially. <laughs> I do. Uh, he actually asked me to play a pug yesterday, and I couldn't because I was busy. But um, I do like playing with those guys, so got to get on some pug NA again pretty soon. Um, I'm just, like, the, my free time is all gone to Battlefield right now. <laughs> oh, Valen doing a good a good little pogo jump there, but he's going to have to back away from the soldier. Actually, really good DMs because going for the equalizer. Can he get it? Oh, not quite. Almost managed to kill uh, Defiance with that equalizer. Look at how low Defiance was. He's down to like 17 HP after that one hit. Pinball Wizards lost a couple players, though, without really getting any kills in return. And so now, even though they have the Uber, it's going to be tough for them to defend this properly. Um, their enemies are nowhere close to the Uber, so as long as they can get the kill on the Medic, they, they would be okay with popping it. But here's the thing. Root is playing really far back now, so... They can't get that kill just yet. They're going to wait for the rest of their team. Now, this is that same situation they were in before, though, where uh, Pinball Wizards had an Uber ready to go, a big advantage, and they didn't push on it. So hopefully they actually do push this time around. Uh, it looks like they may have decided to do just that, pushing at least one of their guys through the house or the diag. Um, but at the same time, I Am Root has backed his team up like inside the base. So, yeah, they're giving up the point, but they might be able to take it right back just because they're going to have Uber ready to go now. They're sitting on battlements. They're prepared to defend this. I, I do like the play from Mayhem. They're playing it just right right now. I'm not letting themselves get Ubered into... Oh, no, they did get forced. Though. Actually, that was a weird force because there really wasn't anybody to deal damage while he was inside. But, yeah, there goes the Uber. So they, uh, they played so well right up until that panic click there by Root, and that could cost them the round because now KBK still has 100%. He was hanging out up there with his soldier on the spire doing the Super Saiyan thing. Um, and now, of course, the point is captured for blue. Pinball Wizards, I think they're going to bring this back to 1-1. One to -one. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah? Well, if you're going to make comments like that, maybe you should just uh, maybe you should just stop talking at all. Didn't your mom tell you not to say things that aren't... 
You're hurting my feelings right now, okay? Just stop doing that. Anyway, the Pinball Wizards are now pushing in to the last point. And they do have that uber advantage, but it's wasting away. They've just been so slow right now. And, and yeah, slow and methodical is okay, but if you've got an advantage, you push it. Tang getting taken out by the sickies, but right now, Caden and Zephyr are down, and there's a bunch of people on the... Oh! Ho, ho, on the point. Uh, Defiance taken out by Valen, finally with that equalizer kill that he wanted earlier. And there goes the rest of the Mayhem team. So it is one to one for the Pinball Wizards. They were a little bit slow on the offense, but they played it well and did a really good job there of getting the kills that they needed to do. So now we're going to watch the... Sorry about that. The, the Gremo cam as he rolls himself out to the middle point. I do love watching my demo man rollouts because I'm always like, oh, I wish I could do this. <laughs> Consistently. I mean, I can do it. Like, I've done it once or twice, but being consistent with it is just so tough. Looks like a valley rollout, actually, for our blue demo. Uh, so we are going to see a bit of a weird rollout situation from blue. Yeah, both soldiers actually jumping up to their own crates right now, doing a lot of damage to the uh, Mayhem team, but Mayhem still with a dominant position on the point. Now they're having to back up, though, and they're medicating pressure by a scout. Probably could end up going down there if he's not careful, but no, he does get back inside the house. It's just that, meanwhile, most of the Mayhem team has died, or at least half, and there goes Zephyr. So now it's just going to be Root and Cade. They have to drop back somewhere, but where are they going to go? It looks like they're going to take the... Uh take the Grey Bridge route and get back inside their base at the moment. They don't want to defend with only like two or three of them. Oh, good kill though by Cade on Tang. So it's five on four, but the thing about the four for Mayhem is that they don't really have very good positioning. They're going to have to, yeah, they're just now starting to reset, but they're going to lose the Spire. Maybe they'll try to do one of these upper lobby holds where they can, uh, they can watch all the entrances and they can delay, but I don't think delaying is really going to be necessary for them. They already have the Uber, so yeah, they're just going to back up to last. They're going to force the Pinball Wizards to come into them, and what they hope is that then Pinball Wizards will end up um, wiping out. But they got to be careful about that, because last time around, Pinball Wizards have shown that their DM skill is actually remarkably good. Uh, they, I mean, they rushed into that point and just wrecked I was about to say a really bad word, but they, they just they just wrecked that other team. So uh, Mayhem does need to have a really good defense set up. Right now they've got a sniper, but look at the positioning here of Cannon and uh, KBK. They're actually standing really, really far back where a sniper cannot possibly see to get a headshot on that medic. It's a, it's a good call by them. Zephyr may drop back. Um, well, I was thinking he may drop back to switch classes now, but... We'll see. He does look like he still wants to go for those headshots because if he can get a pick as the pinball wizards are pushing in, that's going to be huge. Um, wait, what? Hang on, hang on, just just a second here. Um, yes, th this is actually happening. We have an engineer on offense on Badlands. I did, I've never ever seen this happen before. I've seen it happen on like Warmfront, where I. This is so weird. He's he's just treating it like a boombox, just walking around with it, like yeah, yeah, playing my tunes. Listen up, listen up, kids. I mean, what? Seriously? I no. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna Uber him in, and they're gonna set up the sentry while he's Ubered. Please, please do that. No, okay, so he's just setting it down. All right, all right, okay, okay. And it's immediately giving spams. It's probably going to go down. Um, oh, no, actually not. Really, that is beautiful right there. Sentry eating into the last point, and nobody's going to be able to defend that point directly. Uh, you, they can still defend it with stickies, though, and that sentry does finally go down, but not after dealing, you know, not before dealing a whole lot of damage. I don't think the attack worked, though. It's just squid left alive. That was a really cute idea. I liked it. I liked that play quite a lot. Uh, it, the, the sentry dealt a heck of a lot of damage. And if nothing else, <laughs> even Mayhem, he's just like, come on, man. But I, that was really innovative. I really liked that of the Pinball Wizards. That was awesome. Um, it, they just they weren't able to follow through and get the rest of the DM. Um, but the thing is, it was only the Medic and Demo Man left alive after that, so Mayhem wasn't able to push out of their base just because if they did, they were at risk of a back cap or they were at risk of losing their med, and, and you just can't do that. So, yeah, the Pinball Wizards are still in a position to push in once again. They don't have an engineer anymore. Um... So this is no more crazy play like that, but man, I want to see more of that stuff. And actually, uh, the the team that has Pure on it, I know Pure said he was going to do some crazy off classes this season. So Pure, if you're watching this video right now, man, um, I want to see more NG stuff out of him. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Anyway, we do have our Mayhem team sitting on the last point once again, and, and this time around they're going to be ready for anything. They're probably going to be spy checking, you know, watching for like, oh, they're going to throw a pyro or a heavy at us, and the answer is no, actually. The pinball wizard's running a very stock loadout right now, but we'll see what happens because Sticky's coming in. They're checking for the traps in all the usual places, and they're going to push in through the right-hand side. Here comes the Uber just pretty soon here, actually. Oh, not popped yet. There you go. Finally popping it while they've got a scout on the point. Defiance is down. Tang did die to the stickies, but I don't think it matters too much. The Uber just now fading here for both teams. Actually lasting a lot longer for Blue, so they did manage to pop Red Uber first. Yeah, this is going to be a cap for Blue. Almost certainly. Only one man left. It's Zephyr. Can he defend the point here? No. 
2-1 to one Pinball Wizards against Mayhem with some really crazy innovative play from them, and that's the kind of thing that I love to see. I like to see just, just crazy stuff, because it almost worked, and in fact, uh, even though it was a failed attack, it really did work. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to stop like going gaga over the pinball wizards right now, and we're going to watch this mid-fight here. Sweater taking the uh, balcony rollout again. So is his opposing demo man, though, so both of them are not gonna immediately going to deal a lot of damage to each other. Just going to go for the enemy teams instead. Looks like, oh, oh I, I can't even tell. Sometimes I just like to watch the pretty explosions. But uh, Tang is the first man to go down. There's a lot of damage down on the red team, but it's getting healed up. Some of them are dropping back for health kits. Uh, interesting jump there by Valen, but he ended up jumping a little bit too far. Maybe he took a rocket on the way in, and uh, it kind of boosted him just a little bit too hard. So it looks like not a single loss there for the Mayhem team. Very nicely done by them, by their medic. All the positioning was really good. So they did win that mid-fight very decisively. KBK and Cannon, the only ones left up, and that actually is a familiar situation. I think we saw that before. They've backed up to the last point, so once again, they're going to have that 100% ready to go to defend. And we saw a really good defense by Pinball Wizards last time around, so um, I, I'm kind of expecting them to have a similar good defense. And here they go. They do have the Pyro right now. Squid takes out Abramelin. So already one man down for the Mayhem team. They're probably just going to sit back and wait for, uh, for their scout to get back in position. Maybe, in fact, um, that might have been a suicide. No, he has just stayed scout, so I was thinking it could have been one of those situations where he just kind of runs in, tries to get a kill, and if he doesn't, oh well, he can switch to sniper or something, but no, he's he's decided to stay on a scout, <clears throat> and so it's still a perfectly stock loadout for Mayhem, and we're just on this pyro cam here because I love pyros. Uh, they're my favorite thing in competitive play, even though they're just, like, totally useless. They are, uh, they are awesome. So, was that, no, never mind, okay, something was clipping through the window there. I think it was his flamethrower, the degreaser, which of course if you... Oh, I get it. He's a... Oh, that's... What? That's really cool. Okay, I didn't know that was the costume effect for uh, for the pyro, but apparently you can be a ghost. Cannon gets taken down here. Oh, this is not good, actually. Uh, Mayhem should be pushing in immediately. Yeah, they've got the player advantage. They're sending their soldier in right now. They've already got somebody on the point. Oh, uh, this is going to be really bad for the Pinball Wizards. They've taken out two enemies so far. Their Uber is just fading now. And still, lots of aggression coming in by our red team. Oh, Defiance is killed by the Sticky Trap. Mayhem, I'm sorry, Cade, trying to put in quite a bit of damage to the opponents and not able to finish them off. So, Pinball Wizards have successfully defended, but they didn't get enough kills. Uh, they really didn't, you know, of course, they couldn't afford to chase Mayhem into the upper lobby because uh, then they'd be pushing through choke points. They'd be easily spammed to death. So I do think Mayhem is going to have another shot here, and this time around they are bringing a heavy in, so that's going to be an interesting little thing to do. Um, <laughs> running around punching right now, which it sounds silly. I love the uh, I love the punching lines from both him and the engineer when he's got, especially when he's got the gunsling around. He's just like pow, bam, like he's playing with toys or something, you know? Like he's he's got Rock'em Sock'em robots, and he's just like, oh yeah, hit that other guy, yeah, bam. <laughs> Oh, uh, he's like a kid in a toy shop. I'm like a kid in a toy shop, too, with TF2. This is a great game. And right now, a lot of spam coming in towards the Pinball Wizards team. Pinball Wizards doing a good job of defense so far. Valen is on the spy. That's weird. Uh, he's, I mean, he's going to go for a good pick here, but if he can't get it or if he gets spotted out or whatever the case is, yeah, he's going to have to go around. Oh, Scout could have spotted him there. I don't think they actually have, um, but... He may just end up, yeah, he's just going to respawn back and... Oh, no, he's not. Okay, he was using that to get his, his uh, cloak back up. Um, Mayhem playing very far forward right now. I think they may have noticed that they've only spotted five enemies. Valen just going to sneak around that s scout there. Actually, good sneaking by him. And, and he has spotted out the heavy. Uh, I Am Root did already pop the Uber, though, so it is going in right now. The heavy's going to follow in afterwards, probably through the main. Um, looks like Tang is down for the count, trying to stop that Uber and, and uh, didn't manage to do it. Our spy is in here now as well. Not able to get any kills because he's upstairs. Um, or I'm sorry, he's downstairs and everybody else is upstairs, so not going to be able to do that. Oh, so close to a capture right now. They've got to stand on this point and stop it, but the problem... Oh! Once again, a beautiful defense by the Pinball Wizards. And... <laughs> uh, BM deserves BM, I guess. Um, two wrongs make a right, or whatever it is, but... No, I think they're just having some fun with each other. Um... <laughs> talking about having that heavy and squid was hanging back to defend the point so pinball wizards looking really good in this first half not sure how much time is left in the game probably quite a bit still but of course uh, it's esea anything can happen we got an email on what on earth is this no i don't care okay um now the, the pinball I, I see pw and i think password no pinball wizards pushing out out to the middle point it's gonna be pretty crazy uh because that was a an epic almost I just, I can't stop raving enough about the defense that Pinball Wizards has been putting up so far. Um, oh, and I am Root taken down to a lot of spam to the Pinball Wizards. 
I think we're going to see uh, Pinball Wizards going up 3-0 here, in, or I'm sorry, well, 3-1, not 3-0, but in just a minute, unless something crazy happens to Defiance, um, that, that could be what we see, so... The Pinball Wizards pushing now. Uh, they're losing just a bit of damage at the periphery. Valen and Tang both getting hit. Tang is taken down by Abramelin, but right now the point is being captured. Pa Pinball Wizards, I think they've got this. Uh, they may end up pushing it to halftime quite a bit early here by getting those three points. So it's up to Mayhem now. They've got a 50% uber disadvantage. They are in severe trouble. They're waiting for Cade to come back up. Okay, he's up now. No off-classing whatsoever. Um... I almost disagree with that decision. They're, they're good players. No, there you go. Finally, they've got a sniper up to try and delay the push. Uh, that's, that's a good idea. Really, just because they're, they're at such an uber disadvantage, like 30% or so, I would have almost liked to see... Uh, uh, there you go. Now they're doing the heavy and engineer. That's what they need. That or a pyro. Um, but yeah, this is, this is going to be better. It's just the engineer is too late. He's only got a level 1 sentry right now. And here go the pinball wizards already on the points. Tang is down, but the medic here, um, I would have liked to see him actually do a little bit of that uh, uber switching. And there you go. He finally does hit somebody with the uber saw. And that's not going to be enough, though. Um, yeah, so he gets taken down. It looks like a good defense here. Uh, Medic pocketing the Engineer, and they're going up against a Demo Man. So if this Demo can get these kills, that would be crazy hilarious. Sweater, uh, is he's a good Demo. I've played with him before, and he's a nice guy. But uh, I think I've played with him before anyway. Maybe I'm confused. But but he is a pretty cool guy. It's just he was not able to take out the uh, the crazy, the, the infamous Medic-Engineer combo, which everybody fears. So I, I'm just kidding. It's not very common. But um, yeah, net right now, Mayhem is actually pushing back out. They have 100% Uber against the 30 of their opponents. Of course, you can see that yourselves. Uh, and there goes Cannon. Did manage to force the Uber. So very well done to him. Scout just standing up there and trying to spot when the enemies come in to the point. There's a bunch of stickies sitting down here on the bottom of the spiral here. Uh, I guess those will work, but I mean, they're going to be visible, right? You're standing up here. Maybe you, like, jump off and... Uh, We'll see. Uh, so far, actually, Mayhem did drop back to their last point. They didn't like what they saw. They wasted their Uber, so they made the wise decision to run back. And once again, Zephyr is setting up his sentry. Let me find Zephyr. Um, that's not Zephyr. That is a demo man. Yeah, okay. So Zephyr has set up the sentry uh, and is actually going to start laying down some other buildings now as well. Yeah, it looks like a dispenser, which this dispenser is actually going to block his own sentry from firing if somebody walks in that direction. Um, that'll be kind of weird. But there you go. Dispenser is taken down immediately. Now the sentry taken down as well. Pinball Wizards pushing in here with the Uber once again. They've got, they're all about to get the capture, but no, the Uber is on right now. It's three versus three here. Three versus two now as I am Root and Cade go huge. Cade getting like three kills in a row there to help uh, save the point for his team. It's just Cannon and KBK once again. Those two staying together like white on rice. But now, finally, they're both taken out. Uh, it's going to be Squid, Sweater, and Tang trying to defend the Spire, but are they going to be too late? I think so. Scout and possibly a soldier jumping in right now. No, soldier actually just kind of looking back into his base. Um, I want to see that soldier doing something a little bit more aggressive because, oh, here comes a Scout. Getting on top of the Medic does manage to kill I Am Root and going after this kill on uh, Cade as well does get that uh, along with Sweater. So Valen, Squid, Sweater for... <laughs> I did it again. For the Pinball Wizards, doing an amazing job right now. They are backing off from the Spire, interestingly, uh, even though they've got like a two-player advantage. And Tang was in there by himself mostly. No, there you go. They are pushing back now. I guess they just wanted to get healed up. Um, Valen jumping onto the Spire, going for some rocket kills. Can't hit him just yet, but... Uh, he is going to recapture the Spire with the help of a uh, uh, scout and now his other soldier as well. No problem for them. And Mayhem is once again backed up to their last point. Uh, <laughs> Grimo didn't like where he put those stickies. So, yeah, he's just like, okay, screw it. i got to back off. I don't have the time to place these anymore. That is a visible sticky. So, I'm pretty sure we're not going to see uh, the pinball wizards falling for that trick and there they go they uber right away they know they have the advantage and this time around they are pushing on it immediately soldier jumping in to try and at least force these guys back into their spawn which is good uh because that means nobody's gonna be able to stop the point capture immediately but now here come a lot of kills oh look at how many deaths there are for team mayhem though pinball wizards um a very very good half for them so going into the second half now uh <laughs> i need to find some some sort of like oh hang on a second here um, I just, like, paused the video for a second there, and I don't remember what I was saying. So, anyway, watching the sweater roll out here on the way to the second point, Pinball Wizards have been putting up a really good show against Mayhem so far. And, of course, they have switched teams now, so you're watching uh, Mayhem in the blue, Pinball Wizards in the red, and Mayhem winning this midpoint so far decisively. Sweater, Valen, and Cannon are, of course, all down here, and it's, uh, it's looking pretty good for Mayhem. I think they're going to put another point on the board, at least one, 
in this half. Looks like they've uh, maybe had a little bit of a peck talk during that long halftime, trying to decide what to do against the opponents. But hey, it's TF2. I don't know if they're actually like having a pep talk or if they would just offer a break. Uh, halftime and pauses, whatever, they tend to last quite a long time. And uh, and you always ask afterwards, and they're just like, oh yeah, somebody crashed or something. You know, we weren't talking about anything. And really, I mean, that sometimes that makes sense. You don't want to change um, change horses in the middle of a race. Is that the is that the phrase? I guess. Or change horses in the middle of a war. Whatever. Anyway, mayhem is pushing in now to the last point. Uber versus Uber. It's not going to be uh, a, a walk in the park. The pinball wizards do have a lot of overheal right now, and they are all running the stock classes. So are mayhem, however. And apparently now this is the, ca the tale of Captain Jack Sparrow, so you are no longer watching Team Fortress 2. This is Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, you know, I, I hope you enjoy the show, and I guess we'll just talk like a pirate for the rest of the day. No, I'm just kidding. I, I can't even do talk like a pirate very well. Like, like, like on International Talk Like a Pirate Day, I'll, I'll try to do that, and everyone's just like, y you sound like an idiot. I'm like, yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> the Pinball Wizards now set up on the last point with a heavy who has the giant eye, the all-seeing eye of the heavy. I don't, I don't know. I, I think I was, I think I was referencing a movie there, and I don't even know what movie it was. There's the Uber on the heavy to keep him alive. It was good focusing by the Mayhem team, and so far none of them have died yet. Really good dodging as well. Finally, Defiance and Grimo would go down. Pinball Wizards with a very good defense there, and and uh, what I really liked about that was that they did let the Heavy take quite a few hits before they went in and Ubered him. So basically, it was like letting Mayhem try to work through that entire wall of HP, and then just putting a putting an invincibility buffer on it at the very last second. So all that damage they did basically went to waste. Valen was going for the back cap there, ends up getting air shot by Cade. So nice air shot there, and I wish we had the Duter soundboard so he could just be like, "Oh, huge air shot!" But we don't right now. Um, one of these days, maybe I'll tell you guys the secret of the Duder soundboard, but uh, today I'm just not feeling it. But um, <laughs> I did tell Galvia. Galvia knows the secret. Uh, but yeah, it's not available for download yet anyway. Um, Valen, though, is on the spy again. She's going to try the same thing. It was not very effectual last time around, but is he just going to go for a cap? I He, he might... I, hmm. Interesting. Uh, because, of course, there's, there's actually a lot of time on the point right now, so let's just see here. We've got a pop, uh, yeah, a pyro to stand here and air blast things away, and yes, going for the back cap is Valen once again. Snuck out there with his invisibility, but this time around he's having to deal with a scout. Oh, gets the revolver kill on that scout! Now he's got to get away from a soldier, though, and if I were him, I'd be thinking about, uh, eh, yeah, he went for that capture again. He was just seeing how close it was. It was tantalizingly close to getting the capture, which would have let his team push out, but nope, too late. Uh, so... It's really just delaying the push by Mayhem at this point. Uh, Mayhem can still push in and probably will. It's 6 versus 5, although in the next one second, Valen is going to be spawning. And still playing Spy. Um, that's an interesting choice right there. Considering right now, actually, Defiance is sitting back and watching the point. Uh, where is our Spy here? He's going upstairs. Oh, yeah, he got spotted. Uh, he it briefly bumped into somebody there, which caused his cloak to go translucent. And there you go, he gets taken down once again. I think Mayhem should push on this. They've taken down the spy. Uh, it is six against five, and really, really, they've got to go. Uh, they've got to go. I mean, that's that's just it. Oh, I, I'm not even going to continue that sentence. They've just got to go. Oh, there they go. They finally do manage to take out the heavy, and this time around, the medic was not able to save him there. Just too much damage coming in at once. And uh, the Uber is popped here. Just just finishing now for KBK. They're missing a heavy, but their opponents are missing a scout. And Mayhem decides once again they're just going to back off and build up their next Uber, which is actually going to work for them if they push in right on top of it, because KBK for a while there was not healing. If they can build this really fast, I think that Mayhem is going to have this. Uh, they, they just need to push in on the clock and not lose players like this. Cade and Defiance actually both getting taken out there. Um, so Pinball Wizards are, are now showing us just the level of their wizardry. They're doing a very, very good job this game. Uh, KBK is trying to keep his dudes here overhealed. Cade, uh, I, he was taking some damage, but I assume that's going to be rocket jumping. Yeah, he was just trying to get out there as quickly as possible to join the rest of his team, who right now have not pushed in. Oh, they had an opportunity, actually, where they could have gotten in there and dealt a lot of unreturned damage and not had to worry about the enemy Uber. But now, Tang, of course, on the pyro once again, and Squid on the sniper. Every time Squid has gone sniper on last point, he's gotten a kill. Uh, he's gotten a headshot on somebody. But now he's actually switched back off. And Valen is now down. Yeah, uh, here comes the push from Defiance. They're going in after the medic, and, and good good job by Defiance there to force that pop very early for Pinball Wizards. But they're still 
holding the point with the medic soldier combo. No, medic scout combo. I'm sorry, back here taking a lot of damage, and now it's just uh, Grimmode left. He gets taken out by Squid, so Squid's going to make a mad dash to the Spire and see if he can't capture it just as quickly as possible. Uh, before Defiance and Abra Melon get back up here, but I think Defiance is very, very close. Um, and there's Abra as well, or Abra. Abra Melon, maybe that's it. I'm thinking of like Abraham, but that's probably not right. Good old Abra Melon Lincoln. Um, but no, we've got. Oops, that's a fence. <laughs> we have Mayhem here trying to sneak some more damage onto the Pinball Wizards, but Pinball Wizards with like three successful defenses in a row on Badlands. It's not unheard of, but it still shows the caliber of play here in ESCA Intermediate. This is pretty darn crazy. Um, we're going to watch probably an uber push through the house. Uh, Defiance is taken down, so is Valen, so that's a, a soldier down for each team, and here goes the uber right now. Um, Haha, ha, nice shot. I wish we had caught that. But look, I am Root with a very good uh, drop back there. They were ready for the enemy to push into them with the Uber. They knew they had a disadvantage. Now they've got a big advantage. Pinball Wizards need to cap the point, which they are doing, but they're probably going to have to drop back once again, and we're going to play that midpoint ping pong game that you guys all know and love here in TF2 because we should see an Uber push coming in from uh, Root and the rest of his team very, very shortly. There they go right now, pushing in and dealing some damage to our red team, but once again, it's the same thing that Blue just did where they backed out, they, oh, there they go. They actually didn't Uber. So that's the thing. They do need to force that Uber. And Valen was not able to do it. Uh, he did take out Grimmode instead. So the demo man's down right now. But now, big Uber advantage going to Mayhem. And they should be able to push into the Spire area. That's what I want to see them do anyway. Um, but they're, they're playing it a little bit too slow to actually take advantage of that right now. Well, Red did drop back into their base. So I take it back. Uh, actually, I think Spire is going to go to Mayhem once again. So, Pinball Wizard's uh, brief offensive tour of duty there seems to be coming to a close as Mayhem... Whoa, never mind. Grimmode and Zephyr did just die, I think, forcing the Uber pop. Uh, and now, finally, the Uber is popped here for Blue as well. Having to keep these guys alive here and not really able to deal a lot of damage with it. Uh, here's the Equalizer once again, helping kill uh, Defiance from Team Mayhem. Wow, that was a little squeak in my voice right there. Shows how long I have been talking. But... Uh, has anybody scored? No, nobody has scored in this half yet. So the Pinball Wizards, once again, getting lots of kills. Uh, looks like a lot of scout kills, actually, for our boys in red here. So they are pushing out to the middle point once again. This time around, they're definitely going to have the middle point held. Uh, it's the Mayhem is not looking good at the moment, and they really need a couple points on the board to even bring them to a tie position. But uh, the Pinball Wizards may end up getting their fourth point very, very soon because they've got the big uber advantage right now. Oh, nice sticky trap there, but it was spotted out, so not going to get any kills. But, I mean, that's not a bad idea to put stickies right where he put them. Meanwhile, though, the Pinball Wizards have both their scouts up there, both of them eating a pill. And actually, I think, our, is our soldier here damaged as well? No, that's... Yes, he is. Um, so lots of damage coming down to the Pinball Wizards team. I mean, they're going to be okay. They'll be... Uh, whoops, that was my keyboard. They're going to be... Yeah, just fine. They took a bit of damage, but did manage to hold on to their aggression. So here they go, probably going to be pushing in just as soon as they possibly can. Uh, yeah, they are in the upper lobby right now, but they've kind of squandered the opportunity. Uh, not a lot they could really do to push a lot faster. So it is Uber versus Uber. But we'll see. The Pinball Wizards now are pushing into Mayhem after repeatedly having to defend their own last point in this same round. Tang is taken down there, and so the Pinball Wizards do not want to push in just yet. Uh, Team Mayhem taking a bit of spam, but it doesn't matter. I mean, this is all going to get healed right back up anyway. Oh, my throat hurts now. And Grimmode here is uh, just peeking out with some pills as well. I'm spam so common. It's just the best way to uh, to shut down enemy lanes of movement and attack. You just you, you fire a bunch of rockets out there, fire a bunch of pills, and even if they don't hit effectively, you're still kind of peeking out there and saying, no, you can't have this space. This is my space. Um, and not like the crappy music website, but like actually this is, you know, this is my territory. And so if you go there, you are going to take a lot of damage. We're shutting down that lane for you. It's like suppression fire, basically. Oh, and nice rockets by Defiance and Zephyr. Uh, Zephyr helping out there with the damage as well. Valen is down right now. So the pinball wizards uh, seem like they have miscast their pinball spell uh, on TF2 here. Not able to push in just yet. They're having some trouble right now. Valen actually going spy, though. So uh, it looks like maybe they've uh, they've decided to try a different spell here in their spell book. I'm, I, this, this is just bad. I'm stopping now. I'm, it's it's over. You can you can turn your microphone, your uh, speakers back to full. Valen is on the spy once again and needs to cloak up here pretty soon. Um, 
Yeah, there we go. So he does cloak up. Just going to walk in through main while it's not being spammed. Very good for him. But, oh, so close to getting hit by that pyro. And now he has decloaked. The question is, did he get uh, heard? No, not yet. He's trying to force the pop here by the medic, and he does manage to do it. Beautiful revolver aim, forcing I am Root to pop his Uber even while he was in his own spawn. Oh, that is so painful for Mayhem right now because Pinball Wizards should be able to push back in. They've got the Uber advantage. They may wait for Valen to come back up. Uh, yeah, in fact, they're going to do that. They're dropping really far back right now, so they're going to hold on to Spire. Um, maybe even hope that Mayhem make a stupid mistake and try to push out here because if they push out, it's just going to be worse for them. Um, I don't think they're actually going to do that. Mayhem playing smart, but man, losing that Uber is such a big deal because now we're going to see our red team pushing in very, very soon. Oh, uh, <laughs> so tired right now. Casting is difficult. I mean, it's it's sometimes difficult, especially when your throat hurts. I guess that's really... But I love it. I absolutely love it. And this game has been excellent so far. Pinball Wizards pushing in to the high ground. Uh, they've actually allowed the enemy team to build up the Uber almost perfectly. Start getting a little bit of capture time on the point, but not a lot. And Cannon now, jumping up to the high ground, looking for his medic. Just trying to see if anybody's attacking him. Meanwhile, Sweater, it's now his time to shine, because the Ubers are over. He just needs to get in there and deal some damage to the point. Ah, uh, can't quite do it just yet, though. And not enough damage there to really stop Team Mayhem from having a successful defense. So now the Pinball Wizards are backed up once again. The Ubers are about even, so that big advantage that Pinball Wizards have wasn't really successful. And it's Mayhem's turn to have a really, really strong bulwark of a defense. I think I said that word right anyway. Um, it's a word that I've read a lot and never actually like said out loud. Interesting little stickies there. They are still visible, but a little bit harder to see them because normally you're looking for them on the floor. So I kind of like that that positioning. Um, <laughs> I just I always go Gaga over like sticky trap locations because I'm always like oh I didn't know you could do that uh, it's like it's, it's a new learning experience every day for me honestly just watching demo men play because I'm so bad at this game uh, Zephyr now on the pyro once again and De Defiance has decided to take the spy and he's actually using the cloak and dagger here which um, he's you know it's going to take him a while to get around behind the enemy team I think pinball wizards may push in pretty soon but it does sound like they're having some issues with a, a certain flame throwing individual so they're going to have to uh, deal with that first. Oh, Defiance sees the opportunity here. He's going to decloak, go for the stab on the soldier, and does manage to get that. But is it going to be enough? No, the Pinball Wizards end up getting way too many kills there in the interim, and um, the backstab was all for naught. Let's watch, uh, I'll watch a soldier cam this time, but I don't want to watch... Yeah, there we go. We'll watch the Valen cam. Pinball Wizards are up 4-1 to one right now. Um, so really, one more point, of course, they captured the... the uh, they capture the game. They win the game. Here comes a valley rolled out by the Pinball Wizards, and we're going to see Valen, I think, jumping straight into the opponents, right in their faces right now. Ebermillen and Zephyr already down. Valen just going crazy. He's gotten a second kill here so far on Cade, and now jumping around to the house. Uh, not quite able to hit his jump properly, but doesn't matter, because uh, now it's just... Uh, the hunt is on. He really wants to get, like, a medic kill or something. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that's beautiful. Valen with a really nice equalizer kill there on Defiance. Um, sneaking around behind using some, some tricky soldier jumping. And right now, with a big uber advantage, I think Pinball Wizards may end up winning this game 5-1. to one. Mayhem's going to have to pull something out of their butts here if they want to win this. Um, let's just see. I mean, Grimmode's going to set up the sticky traps kind of in that same location once again. So people are going to walk in there, and uh, they're probably going to know it's there. But nonetheless, it's just an interesting little location. We'll see what happens here. Pinball Wizards, they've got the Uber. I want to see him push now. Like, just just go now, guys. Come on. Push it. Do it. Do it. Push. Push. It's a boy. Um, yeah, they are pushing in right now and already getting a scout on that point. He gets taken down. Tang and Valen both down, but there you go. Uh... <laughs> Scout snuck onto the point, won the game for them, so the Pinball Wizards do win 5-1 to one against Mayhem with some really unique and innovative playstyle. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Salamancer, and do subscribe to me on youtube.com slash fatmop, F-A-T-M-O-P, because that is where all these vids go in high definition. Thanks for watching again, and signing out.